Can Jamaica's Rashid Broadbell become 110-meter hurdles Zurich Diamond League champion? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. After this, a sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, would you ready? yep good to go well it is that time the zurich diamond league the big one the final diamond league challenge for the 2022 season will jamaica's rashid broadbell who has been on a bender recently winning several back-to-back -back titles since his commonwealth win and beating the two best in the world will he be able to sustain this winning streak and win the men's 110 meter hurdles championship at the zurich diamond league in on september sorry the 8th this lineup includes the best in the world including jamaica's olympic gold medalist over the men's 110 meter hurdles hansel parchment as well as the usa's world champion over the men's 110 meters hurdles uh, Grant Holloway. The 110 meter hurdles race will also include Terry Trey Cunningham of the United States, Damian Sex, Damian Syker, Grant Holloway, Jason Joseph, uh, Just Joe Mate, Asher Martinez, uh, of course, Hans Apartment, and Rafael Pierre Pereira. Now, the last time the top three meaning the Commonwealth champion, world champion, and Olympic gold medal, medal champion met. Well, Hans, well, it was Rashid Broadwell who again con extended his winning streak to 4-0. and oh. Broadbell won under cold, windy uh, conditions. He run, ran into a minus 2.2 win, running a time of 13.36 to win. Now, they had also met previously at the Lausanne Diamond League. And once again, it was Broadbell of Jamaica who came out on top ahead of, ahead of both Hansa Parchment his compatriot of Jamaica and Grant Holloway. Broadbell won a clear meter ahead of the reigning world champion in a time of 12.99, his first sub-13 clocking and his new personal record in Lausanne. Now, himself and Grand Holloway had previously met at the Hungary Diamond League. Rashid Broadbell surged from fourth position over the final hurdle to catch uh, Grant Holloway on the line. Both ran 13.12, but the win was given to Rashid Broadbell. Broadbell actually, people, has just been unbeatable since the Commonwealth Games. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Can Rashid Broadbell become the 110-meter hurdles champion in at the Zurich Diamond League 2022? 
unequivocally the answer is yes he is on a winning streak he seems to have hit his peak at the very very end of the season since this commonwealth diamond league run he has just literally been unbeatable no one and i mean no one at this point in the in in time can catch him it appears to me that the great um hansel parchment our Olympic gold medalist, Jamaica's Olympic gold medalist from the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games that was held in 2021, uh, is still recovering and trying to get back to form. Remember, he had a, he had to pull out of the final in the World Championships out there in Eugene, Oregon. I mean, moments before the final where he was the clear favorite to win or certainly one of the clear favorites to win. And as far as I'm concerned, he simply is not back um, anywhere near what he was at that point in time. Um, Grant Holloway also seems to be fading. It's been a very long season for both. And both men, in fact, in their last race, Holloway, I think, Grant Holloway came fifth. That's the, the, the race in Fitzen. Uh, he came fifth and Hans Parchment may have come third. So both men are simply not at their very best at this point in time. Whereas um, Rashid Broadbell seems to be, you know, having the time of his life. Having the time of his life, people. He seems to be at his very, very best at this moment in time. So I think barring um, injury or horrendous conditions and we saw him win in spitzen under horrendous conditions it was raining he ran into a, a minus 2.2 win and still ran 13.36 to win it was freezing cold you could actually see rashid bodwell shaking and blowing into his hands just to try and get warm it was horrendous conditions so i think he should be the clear favorite going in uh, on the, in the finals there at the Zurich Diamond League's men 110 meter hurdles but let me say this I have often said it and you're going to keep hearing me say it it's the hurdles people if he clips a hurdles game over these are these are the best in the world he's racing against um, anything is possible any card can play as Jamaicans would say meaning anything is possible but should all conditions remain equal meaning uh, conditions are okay his herding technique remains flawless. At this point, I believe he's simply unbeatable. And he should walk away with the Zurich Diamond League Championship. Now, do not believe that either Hans Parchment and or Grant Holloway are just going to lie down and let this happen. They're both fighters. And please remember that the Zurich Diamond League's winnings to win is a big deal. Let me explain. The prize money to win um the final at the zurich diamond league is thirty thousand us people that's pretty serious money plus that big diamond league trophy so that's a very 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 big deal and i know that rashid broadbell is hungry to make this statement across the world now he is a commonwealth he is the commonwealth champion but we have to admit that most people see the world championships and the olympic games as a far more worthy um title so he wants to prove this so i am thinking uh that you know he should win but this of course is my two cents i'd love to know your thoughts do you think that rashid Bodbell will be crowned the 110 meter hurdles champion at the zurich diamond league 2022 on september the 8th 2022 i'd love to know your thoughts now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video remember you are royals kings and queens Bless up.